Hey guys, this is Soul Patrol Jedi once again. This is part three of my Christmas extravaganza. Right now, I'm gonna get into talking about, um, you know, gift giving and shopping and whatnot. And this is gonna be one of the most stressful times for any any parent. But you know, the kids, the to see the look on the kid's face is, you know, something that's really cool. You know, you got to do something like that. Um, I don't know how my mom went through some of this earlier Christmas stuff, you know, because it's fucking nuts getting out there. I mean, some of the, this stuff starts the day after Thanksgiving, you know, the Black Friday and all that. But I already went into that crap with my um, with my other ranch, so I'm not going to get into that. But, you know, getting out there and shopping and finding that one special gift, you know. look, It's always fun looking for that one gift. Like, I've only been to the few of the Black Friday things myself, you know, but I can see how chaotic it is. Um, you know, a lot with being online now, you can actually get a lot of your stuff pretty cheap, you know, rather than standing in line all fucking day, or, you know, being crushed to death at Walmart, <laughs> keep bringing it up, I'm sorry, um, you know, people always tell me, you know, and they're always like, you know, with, you know, oh, I only got, I only got one gift, I only got two gifts, I only got three gifts, well, you know, you gotta consider now a lot of the gifts now are electronic and stuff. So if I get you, um, if I get you a TV, you know, the TV's 800 bucks, you know. Or, you know, I can get you like 50 gifts or something for that price. You see what I'm saying? It's either always, you, know, you always get like one big gift. And I remember when I was a kid, um, let's see, I'm trying to remember some of my biggest over the years. When I was, um, when the N64 came out, I got an, I got the N64 for Christmas. And, like, I was so happy. Like, I was jumping up and down. I was excited and whatnot. And, because here's, my mom always does this very special. She has ways of, she has all the presents marked. So she knows what's what. And, like, she handed my brother a game. And she handed me a game. And, like, she's like, okay, open it. I opened it up. And I'm like, I got, I got Mortal Kombat for the 64. Mortal Kombat Gold, I think. And my brother got Super Mario 60, 64. And I'm like, I looked at the game, and I looked at my, looked up, and I looked at my brother, and he looked at me, and he looked at her mom, and she's just got this biggest happy grin on my face, and it's like perfect gift, and that's something I'll remember for the rest of my life, cause she had this big old smile on her face, and like then we got to open the next one, and we knew what it was, you know, you knew it was a Nintendo 64, and you know fun stuff like that, you know a lot of kids, you know when they're younger they get disappointed when they get you know socks or clothes. You know, when I get old, when you get older, though, you know, it's like, hey, I got clothes. I like clothes now. <laughs> it's fun. You know, you get jeans or, you know, a sweater or something. You know, they wore those fucking ugly-ass Christmas sweaters, but it's all fun. Now, um, with the, uh, the economy being the shitter right now, you know, Christmas is going to be pretty tight. But that's why it should go back to, you know, the whole family to get in this thing and all the fun stuff like that. But, you know, Christmas is mostly, it's, you know, right now it's, 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 Christmas is a business now. Christmas is a full-fledged business. It's a whole season. It's marketed around, you know, all that, you know. But, you know, I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to get into the negative aspects of Christmas. I'm trying not to anyway. Um, sh sh Christmas shopping can be fun. Like I said, you know, going out there and finding that one gift and getting that reaction and making one person happy. Like, um... Actually, make sure I'm not looking. I'm actually getting my mom a dog for Christmas, which I hope she really likes. I don't think she'll want it, but once she sees the dog, you know, it's for her and my little brother. You know, mostly, mostly it's just for the cat. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, you know, getting that, getting that one gift, you know, makes makes people feel really happy. You know, I love opening a gift. I like, I used to love ripping open gifts. You know, because when you're younger, you can get them, you can get them complete crap, and they'll like it. You know. You get them a dollar, uh, a dollar, you know, toy, and they'll then go crazy with it and play with it. Like some brother can play with a box and have fun. There's something wrong with him. Of course, there's something wrong with the rest of our family too. So you know, it's all good. When you get older, you get get more expensive, and you know, you get fewer gifts. But I remember it's the thought that counts. And a lot of people are not gonna get a lot of good Christmas stuff. So I remember to donate to Toys for Tots and all that stuff. And that's what I'm gonna get into with my next topic. Um holiday donations and whatnot. When I was in high school, uh, when I was in JRHEC, I did um, Toys for Tots four years straight. 
Now, if you never heard of this program, it's a pretty darn good program. Um, it was started by the United States Marine Corps many, many, many years ago. I think it was uh, maybe 40, 30, 40, 50 years ago, if not longer than that. Um, basically, it's a huge torna to yeah, tornado. <laughs> it's a huge donation drive that they do every year, and it's it's organized by the United States Marine Corps, and they retrieve all the toys, and they pick up the toys. Now, basically, any store location you go to, you know, any toy you buy, as long as it's a wrapped gift, it can be donated. It can be, if it's a book, or, you know, something's got to be packaged, but not a book or whatnot. You can donate anything you want. And this goes towards people every... That that need gifts that can't afford gifts, you know. A lot, like I said, a lot of the gifts gifts you get for Christmas shit, your expensive TVs and all that shit, the people that don't need. A lot of the little kids would be happier with play with a doll or a teddy bear or a book, you know. And Christmas is supposed to be mainly about kids, but it's 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 a more economic holiday, and that's the way it's marketed, unfortunately. But you know, these 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 guys, you know, the, the military and the Marines. You know they they do this every year. You know they don't get they don't get a paid a dime to do that. You know they do this every single year, and I've seen all the toys donated. It's a massive amount of toys, and there's people that give every year, and I God bless every single one of them that does that, because I worked there and I helped everybody out, and every person who was working there was doing it for charity, and it's all fun. Um, I also got the pleasure to see something um pretty cool the other day um. The, uh, the the bikers, you know, the Har the Harley guys and this, uh, you know, people on the, the ninjas and stuff and the Suzuki's and all that fun stuff. Every year down in Florida, I know this goes on across the country as well, they do um, like a charity charity run or a charity ride. Basically, they start at a location and basically, you know, like, you guys know what like a fun run is? If anybody know what that is, just let me know. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Basically, a fun run is um, like someone pays them f to go from one point to another. Like, you go so many miles, and they'll pay you, you know, I'd say, I'm, I'll just make an example, I'll pay you $5 for a mile you go. And they start at a location, and then they go all the way across the city, and, you know, they raise, and, of course, they're doing their toy donations as well. They drop a whole bunch of toys. And they've been doing this for years. And, and um, it's it's pretty awesome. I mean, we, we got actually stuck in the traffic by mistake. And this is the first time I had seen this, and I was amazed. I mean, there were thousands and thousands and thousands of bikers. I mean, I've never seen someone motorcycles in one spot. And it was like a huge cavalcade of any type of, you know, motorcycle you can imagine. You know, Harleys, you know, Suzuki's. Um, I've, seen a, I've seen a couple scooters. I've seen some sidecar ones. Any type of, I can't really name any um, other type of motorcycles, but, you know, they had a whole bunch of stuff like that. Those guys raised a lot of money for kids. And that pisses me off because a lot of bikers get, um, a negative, negative image, but they do a hell of a lot more for charity than some people do, I can tell you that, so, um, like I said, you know, Christmas is about, mainly about kids and get people getting together and all that, so, you know, God bless what you have and what you get, you know, even if it's not a lot, you know, just waking up every day and knowing that you get to spend time with all your family members and thinking about all the people that are, are away over at seas, you know, fighting in the war. Um, you know, just, just think about what you have and think about how good you have it because things can always be worse. I can tell you that for a fact. Things can always get worse. Try to keep a positive outlook and think about the the good nature of Christmas and what Christmas is really about. It's togetherness and family. It's not about gifts. It's not about fucking TV shows. Those are great memories. But, you know, being together with your family, they're, they're going to be with you long after those presents disappear or the tree's taken down and the lights burn out. You know, I'll think about all the stress and all that stuff, but just think you have a lot to be thankful for, you know. And I got to bless my family. You know, they annoy me sometimes, but I love them to death, and I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. Um, hope you guys keep watching my videos. Um, I hope you have a great Christmas and look forward to my Star Wars holiday special, which will be posted here soon. God bless you, Merry Christmas, and have a great day.